the streets of Taiwan's capital. Voters massing in the thousands, flags held high to listen to the first words of their next president. Taiwan resisted external forces to influence this election, says William Lai, whose victory is sure to anger China and could prompt Beijing to step up pressure on his island democracy. Lai has been elected president despite China's months of warnings. The outcome of the vote could be a choice between war and peace. Lai, currently Taiwan's vice president, campaigned on promises to boost its military defenses and deepen ties with the U.S. The Chinese Communist Party has never ruled Taiwan, but claims it as part of its territory, regularly threatening to take control by force. In its first response to the election, Beijing shrugged off the results, saying reunification with Taiwan was still inevitable. Many of Lai's supporters hopeful he can protect the status quo. The election of Lai symbolizes our move in the right direction, this man says, a sentiment shared by those watching ballot counting from Canada. I hopefully, uh, the leader that today, that uh, who won, will lead Taiwan into a real democracy and secure uh, situation. While China's full response is likely to play out over the next four years, really, Lai said after his win he would seek a balanced approach to relations with Beijing. Internationally, his presidency will probably be judged by how well he can maintain the peace with China while fending off its threats. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.